I do not want people like that here. So they are fired. Why don't you crawl back to wherever you came from? I'm, I'm an American, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked in a mirror? You are definitely not like me. Go home. Nobody wants you people here. You are definitely not like me. She's brought her mom in for protection. <laughs> Any more of them and we'll have to call CDC. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, please sit. Close your eyes. So one cold night, a woman takes her newborn baby, wrapped in a blanket, places him under a tree, and leaves him there. Maybe it was fate or blind luck that a young couple on their way home from dinner, heard his cries and rushed over. They took him in their arms and after some deliberation, they brought him home. They cared for him and they loved him like he was their own. When he was old enough and the time was right, they told him everything. He grew up determined to make something of himself. And he did. <laughs> From nothing, he built everything. Now, if that doesn't motivate you, nothing will. I was the boy left under that tree. And this incredible woman raised me. Her daughter, Kim, has taken on an internship here. And I know that all of you will welcome them into this family in the same way that they welcomed me into theirs. You're good. Except you two. When I was telling that story, did it matter if the child was male or female? where they grew up, their race. There is no place for hate and discrimination in this company. Don't bother coming in tomorrow. You're both fired. When will we wake up? I long for the day when mankind finally transforms into kind man when we open not just our eyes, but our hearts to see beyond the hue of man and realize we are all hue man. Peace.